Okay, second violins. This is our training video for the powwow version of Cashmere. And uh, hopefully you got all three pages out here ready to rock. And uh, <coughs> excuse me. We are going to start by looking at our key signature. First thing you always got to do when you're learning a piece. Okay, we're in the key of D major. Now, having said that, if you look through the piece, you're going to see there's a lot of accidentals in this piece. So we got to just be on guard to keep that finger pattern movable. Okay, and we're going to be looking for patterns. So let's just start right out of the gate over here on the first four lines. As you look at your music, you're going to see that there's some patterns even flowing, okay, vertically on the music, okay, in the lines there. Okay, there's some repetition of 1 E N, end to 3, 4 E N, end to 2, 3 E N, end to 1. Okay, so you have this yup up bum, rest, bump up bum, rest, bump up bum. Rest, ba, ba, ba. rhythm going okay for the first four lines and what I'm going to have you do is to start each of those group of three notes with a down bow okay so you're going to be going lift half step rest whole step rest 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 right at the frog boom boom and okay just get right up there and just kind of really give that some power, get some weight of this, of your bow arm in there, okay, and get a nice strong sound, okay, just kind of a marching sound. Now, that pattern is going to happen down at 23, you're going to get that same kind of groove going there, uh, up at 35, <clears throat> 41, okay, and then at the end, the last two lines, okay, so once you get that going, you've already knocked out some other sections of this piece. All right, now let's fast forward up to measure 13, okay? Now, if you look at measure 13 <clears throat> pretty closely there, you're going to notice that you have a three-measure new pattern of, of rhythm. N, two, N, N, four, N, one, E, N, rest. Three, N, four, N, one, N, two, N, okay? <clears throat> now, the next three measures are very, very close, okay? Almost exactly the same. So here we go. This is measure 13 through measure 18. Okay, measure 13. Ready, and one. move on here and let's take a look at this next pattern going from 19 through 22 okay now you have some dots and some ties and and if you try to count this thing it's it is countable but it's not going to I think either inspire you or help you to process these notes so look at this from the standpoint of going ba 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 da ba 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 da da there's a two measure pattern right there the next two measures same thing ba 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 da ba 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 da da. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So here's here's 19. A little slower. Just make sure we get this under our fingers. Ready, two, three, four, and. rhythm's going to come back again, just like some others. Look over there at 37. <coughs> at 37, that comes back. 43, it comes back. Now look real quick at 44. 44 looks kind of like that, but you got some extra notes there on the end. So let's just take a look real quick here at 44, since we've got that pattern going in our minds. 44's pattern is going to be, yep, ba, 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 ba. There's the difference. Okay, so here's measure 44. And okay, there you go. Now let's go back over, <clears throat> and you're going to notice in measure 28 uh, and 27, we start a new pattern here. Yeah, da 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 da. Okay, so you have this A, G sharp. Now you're going to be going really quick between strings. Hmm. 
Let's shift up there, okay, and let's see what we can do. Our high note's a B. So if we put the B up on the fourth finger, okay, that's going to move our E to F sharp, okay, which means technically we're in second position. So you just move your hand up one whole step from E, first finger, to F sharp, first finger. Then you have a G sharp, A, B, bingo, you've got all those notes right under your fingers very quickly and, and way more easier than switching bows. Okay, so you have this rest. Two, three, four. Stay right there. Two, three. Two, three, four. And if I were you, I'd get right up here by the frog. Remember, this is rock music, okay? We're not going to take any prisoners here, and we're not going to mess around. Okay, I'd get right up here where you got a little bit more power. You got that weight of the bow. Okay? All right. Sounds way better. So much easier, too. All right, so let's kind of move on here. Let's take a look at measure 45. <clears throat> and at 45, you're going to notice we've got a new kind of pattern here, and it's going to repeat as you look down the page. Okay? That's why I set this up in this arrangement so that you could actually see that coming up, okay, and then kind of grasp the pattern. So when you memorize this, you're, you're good. Now, <clears throat> 44, or excuse me, 45 goes 1 and. In, in, in. Okay, a lot of ends on the off beat. So you got to be feeling the beat to know when to play the off beat. Okay, so here we go. This is 45, 3, 4, and 2, 3, and 2, 3, 4, again. 2, 3. Now, one thing you're going to notice on the track, okay, it sounds like this, these guitar guys are having a lot of fun, and they're sliding those notes down, okay, kind of rocking that out, so to speak. Now, we can do the same kinds of thing. We're just going to have to get a little bit creative here on our violin, okay, and you're going to have to go from first position here, okay, because we can't really slide this too far or far enough. I want to slide it farther. I want to have this go, okay, I want to have it go way down. So. I'm going to have you take and put your thumb here in fifth position, get your thumb in the crook, get your arm around, okay, you got to have good posture. So you get this around, your first finger should be on an E like you're on the D string, F sharp, G, A, bingo, there's that note that you want. So you're going one, two, and three, four, okay, that was a little bit flat, alright, but that will give you the ability if you want to have that sliding guitar lick sound, okay? All right, now let's move over to measure 69, because those next measures are all repeats of things we've already covered. In 69, okay, we have a whole new pattern here coming up. Now, I want you to get your finger pattern on the A. Finger pattern one. Now, take this first finger. Okay, now get your arm around, get your posture around here good. So you can actually take that first finger and look, Move it all the way back, okay, so you got a nice good B flat there with a C sharp. Oh yeah. Now there's the sound we're wanting to get. Okay, now that's coming up in 70, clear down, okay, to like 8 through 84. Okay, so you got to get that finger pattern going. Do a rundown. Get yourself some skill on that finger pattern so you can play this the way you want to play it. All right, now, measure 69. Okay, look at this rhythm here. Okay, there's a lot of new rhythms coming up. It's one, two, uh, three, E, and, and, one, E, and, two, and, triple it, four, E, and, a one. So you're getting everything thrown at you there. So I'm going to take this kind of slow, kind of count it out loud as I'm playing it for you. Okay, just take it slow, put her down in low gear. Okay, and get yourself just comfortable here. Okay, so you know what's coming. Give yourself a chance to process all these notes coming up here, and then you're going to have a lot of fun with it. So don't don't learn it wrong. Okay, don't learn the mistakes, because then you just be wrong all the time. All right, so here we go. Sixty-nine. It's going to be one, two, uh, three.
natural in forever, okay, on the A string. So watch that really carefully there, okay, that's where you get to bring this both, this second finger back, which is probably going to feel like really comfortable compared to that harmonic minor type of thing going. Alright, so let's go to 78. One and two and one and two and three. Triple with one E and a two and three. Four E and a. Two Okay, you get that C sharp on the G. Okay, so you got this note, you gotta go whoop, get that out there for that C sharp to be in tune. But over here on the A, you gotta be flat. That's stretching your hand out. So, why don't you take and play your C sharp with a fourth finger C sharp on the G, and wow, that's a lot easier. Okay, your first finger can reach it, and you don't feel like you're on some ancient torture rack. Okay, it's more comfortable. It's probably going to be more accurate too. So let's look at measure 84. So we have A. Clear to the end. 